Okay, today we're going to be talking about Edmodo and parent codes in Edmodo and how does a parent sign up and what can a parent see. So the first thing I've done is logged in as a fake student and here's my fake student account and over here on the right hand side, even new Edmodo, old Edmodo, it doesn't matter, there's going to be a parent code and the parent's parent can write this down. Right now I'm just going to copy the code and then I'm going to log out as the student. you can see I'm in chesterfield.edmodo.com. If a parent wants to do regular Edmodo, it works, but chesterfield.edmodo.com is what we want the parents to and students to be in the habit of typing. And then down here in this login window, it says parent sign up. So I'm going to click there. It's a parent sign up. And you see I have to have a code. So I'm going to put in my code. I'm going to be other. Let's see. My rate relation is the crazy uncle. And my username is going to be crazy uncle2. And my password and my email crazy uncle at gmail.com. My username. crazy uncle and I'm gonna click sign up all right and now I have this is my parent view and in the parent view I can see all kinds of things I can see the planner for my student um, I can see if my student has any kind of assignments or has ever had any kind of assignments it doesn't appear that my student has had any kind of assignments. Maybe in August there was something, I'm not sure. Nope, doesn't look like my student has any kind of assignments. And this is a fake student account, so it's not very active. But I also, in the home view here, I can see any kind of any kind of interactions that my student has had, whether it be to a whole group or to a just one teacher. So a private message between Mr. Buck and this student alligators are mean because they're medulla umblagata and then you know water boys mama says no they're the devil you know all of these things I can see a private message between a student and a teacher which I think is a really good thing that's a safety net for all involved um, so that's that's just a real quick way to for a, a parent how a parent logs in and kind of an overall view of what the parent sees if you're the parent of more than one student you get your second parent code and you just click add a student you'll put in that parent code um, and you can add all your students here so a parent just has a single login and they can see all their children so now from now on if a parent wants to see, they just put in their username, crazy uncle two, and their password at chesterfield.edmodo.com. And they can log in and see all of their students' activity. Okay, hopefully you learned how a parent gets the, this, their parent code, how they log in, and what they see.